Hey, it's your friend Choice CJ here, and I'm coming to you guys today with something a little different. We're dipping into the RU tier for this showdown live. Now, if you aren't aware, there is a suspect test going on right now in RU. They are suspecting both Mega Steelix and Tyrantrum. Uh, to be quite honest, I'm not sure exactly which ladder you're supposed to play on in order to not play with those mons. There's supposedly two ladders, one with the current metagame and one with the, uh, you know, metagame as if they had been banned. Um, I don't know which one that is. I only played one game on the ladder so far just to test this team. We are uh, using a bulk up Braviary team just because I figured that's a Pokemon that benefits from Steelix and Tyrantrum being removed because uh, those are, you know, two Pokemon that resist Flying Stab. And there are other Pokemon, of course, in the tier that resist uh, Flying Stab, like Registeel and uh, Magneton, stuff like that, Rhyperior. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, if we are on the ladder without uh, those two, uh, hopefully Braviary can put in the work. And uh, we also have, you know, Stealth Rock, Rhyperior, Wish Protect, uh, Physically Defensive, Aromatisse, Calm Mind, Verizion. Verizion is pretty threatening uh, without Pokemon like Amoongus in the tier anymore. Uh, Salt Vest, Slow King, and then an Offensive Defog, Flygon. So it should be a lot of fun. Uh, and we're just going to hop right on into it. Okay, cool. So we found a game right away, and it's already looking pretty interesting, rocking out with that, uh, that Roselia. Uh, that's a throwback. Um, so anyway, likely leads uh, Diancy and Seismitoad, probably. To be honest, I really don't have a lot of experience um, in the RU tier. Uh, we're gonna... Sorry, guys, you know me. I like to do this live. <laughs> so we turned down the volume just a smidge. Uh, so Diancy and Seismitoad both don't really appreciate matching up with Verizion. He leads Roselia, which is kind of interesting. Um, so this thing can Sludge Bomb, certainly. Um, what would I rather do? I don't really want to go to Slow King. Because uh, the Grass Stab, obviously, is going to be... Well, actually, I don't know. There's no chance that this is like an offensive Roselia. And we're Assault Vest, and we're Slow King. So let's just do that. He's going to go for the... He goes for Spikes. Okay. That's fair. I, I don't know why I didn't expect that. That's a really common thing for Roserade to do in UU. He goes into Spirit Tomb. Okay. Um, so he could Pursuit us. Let's just click Scald once and see what he wants to do. Yeah, so now we are going to die to this. Ooh, now we don't. But now it's a question of mind games, you know? Um, no, we should live. Because he's only going to do... It's going to double in power, but his power is half due to burn. So he's only going to do 40% to us on the switch out. Um, I think we just switch Aromatisse and feel relatively good about it. Okay, or he swaps out. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So I would like to get those spikes off the field eventually. Uh, Mega Obama Snow, I think, is banned from RU. So, I'm just going to protect to see what's going to go on here. If he, like, sword stances, and that's scary. Or right, Blizzard. So we don't really have an answer for for this. Maybe we just stall out the... <laughs> maybe we just stall out the hail? I don't really know how to respond to this. That does damage. What's Blizzard's chance to freeze? It's like, I don't know if it's 10% or like 30% or what it is. Okay, so he's just gonna pass into that, which is fine. I assume this thing has Sleep Powder as well. And he's just got that, so that's fine. Alright, he goes for Seismitoad, that's fine. So I think we can just U-turn out of here into, like, Slow King again. And that's probably fine. Actually, Roma or, uh, Verizion would be pretty good, too. He's probably just gonna go for Rocks. Yeah. So what's to switch into this? So I guess it's, uh, Roselia. So let's try Braviary. Sweet. So this is exactly the kind of situation I've been hoping for. Uh, I guess I shouldn't have gotten too excited there. That was a pretty obvious switch in. 
So let's just get off a of Brave Bird and see how much damage we can do. Not a lot. <laughs> that, in fact, is very little. So we don't really have a great Diancy switch in on this team either. I guess it's Slow King. Hope you guys don't mind if I'm doing some on the fly learning in the RU tier. It's really interesting. I feel like RU is a really bulky tier. I could be wrong, and if you guys have any feedback, please let me know. But yeah, there's not a really there's not a ton of like really fast Pokemon. It seems like bulky offense is really the name of the game. And yeah, maybe that's gonna be different when uh slow or no Celix if it gets potentially removed. You know, that might change. Uh what do we want to go for? He's not going to stay in here. I think Seismitoad is the most uh, likely switch in. He goes to Snow. Okay. So I'm pretty much fine getting damage off on this thing. Do we... What is Snow's speed? Data... Snow. 60. Okay, he's way faster than we are. For some reason, I thought that... It was like pretty slow. I think it's Mega is a little bit slower. <coughs> it's just a question of how brave do we want to be here. I don't think I have another answer. Hopefully he goes for the grass move. Yeah, okay. So now I think we can just focus blast. Um yeah, that seems fine. If he wants to switch into Hoopa or Spirit Tomb, you know, I'm okay with that. He could also go into Roselia. Is what he does. Alright, we get off 22%. If I did 22%, I'm willing to stay in here and just click Hidden Power Ice. Alright, so... We must outspeed with something like this, right? Hopefully we get another chance to defog later in the game here. But I'd rather just kill this Roselia right now than go for something like Draco and have him bring something else in. It, particularly the Obama Snow, that's what I'm really worried about. Of course, now the seismic is kind of a problem now that we don't have Verizion. We don't have any status on this team. I didn't really think that through. Maybe we'll switch uh, Aromatherapy for Toxic on Aromatisse. Um, I think our best bet is probably Slow King and just try and click Psychic. Toxic, toxic sauce. That's a good move. So how real do we want to be here? I'm doing it. Yeah, suck on that. <laughs> I, I don't know why I'm being so aggressive. Uh, do you think he just goes for Sucker Punch? I kind of do. And goes for Pursuit. Alright, good play. Fair enough. I mean, he dies now, which is nice. You can actually come in with a bomb of snow here. Yeah. And I, I presume that a Giga Drain is going to Oko. Well, we're not really going to get another chance to take this thing on. Like, what else can we kill this with? We don't need this for anything else, really. Maybe DNC? Yeah, that's straight up Oko's. <laughs> so, that might have been a mistake, but that's okay. Now he's going to go into Diancy. Whoa, we really need to double. Oh, wait, we do need to double. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get this Obama Snow. Alright, it would be nice if he would hurry up now. Yeah, so I think the losing the Verizion was a big issue here because it really did handle a lot of his team. It handled DNC, it handled Seismitoad.
Okay, so I think I'm fine with this. If he has, like, Dive and Storm, then we're probably gonna die. And if that's the case, I'm just gonna forfeit. Um, I wanna click Scald, but the Seismic Test switch is really obvious. It goes for Calm Mind, so that's not great. That might be a good game. Well, I don't know. I mean, we still have Flygon with a Earth Power that's going to be pretty powerful. But, you know, then again, if he gets to plus two here, could be bad. He does get to plus two, so we're going to hopefully get off some damage. If we land a burn, we do land a burn. That's nice. So he's going to go down to 33%. All right, so let's hope that a life orb uh, earth power can do the trick here. And it can. Great. So not all is lost, just mostly lost. Now that Dianzi is gone, Braviari actually could probably pull this back if he sends in the Rosalia. We take out the Seismitoad. We're pulling this back, friends. He does have the Ice Shard, okay. So how much did that Blizzard do earlier? That was like the very first turn of the game. 569 So I think all that we can really do is hope for a low roll. Actually, I don't think we can beat Ice Shard of Bomb of Snow now. Oh. That's a play. I kind of hope he's Synthesis. He goes for Synthesis. Because then that gives my Braviary the chance to, to switch in. What would really stink is if he just sacks this off. Or if he goes for Sleep Powder. It does go for Synthesis. Great. Now I think we win. Um, unless it's... Does Hyperspace Hole go through Substitute? I think it does. I do want to go for Sub. What did he do? Oh, he broke my Sub. So it was a crit. Does it break if it's not a crit? He gets two crits in a row! That's unbelievable! Come on. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Alright, now let's not crit. Now, I'm not even sure that we need to break it to uh, bulk up. Really. As long as we're behind a sub, I think we're good. Let's just do a calc, I guess. Raviari, sub bulk up. Koopa. Sure, let's do that. Okay, we need one bulk up. So now we sub. Alright, we should win. Yeah, it just really comes down to... Oh wow, that didn't even break the sub! Oh my goodness! That's amazing. I can't believe he pulled this back. I, I I literally said I was gonna I was gonna forfeit. <laughs> okay, wait, hang on. Oh, that's all right. I was gonna put toxic on a because that's important. Okay, so we learned that this is not the ladder without uh, Steelix and uh, Tyrantrum, but we do have Rhyperior on the team, fortunately, for those two things, as well as Verizion. Verizion does nice work against those two. <coughs> um. So he does have Sigalyph on the team, which is a good bit of speed. He doesn't really have anything else that's too speedy though, so it's very possible that it's Choice Craft Tyrantrum. 
Even something like Choice Scarf X, X Blad wouldn't be crazy. But I think Rhyperior leads well against most of his team. Um, do these things carry Surf for this tier? I don't really know. Even so, we don't really want to take a Specs uh, Boom Burst. I think I'd rather go into Aromatisse and just uh, scout it out. Or uh, no, Slowking's way better. Slowking is 100% better. Based on the rate these games are going, we might not get more than three. Just a Surf. Okay. No problem. Um, so what really wants to take a Psychic? Really just Sigalith. And also Ice Beam is a good option. Yeah, that works. Psychic would have been really nice there, but that's okay. Um, so... <laughs> That's one answer that that's one thing that we don't have on this team is an answer for uh for Venusaur. Giga Drain should do a lot. No, slow bro, sorry. Um yeah, that's basically us. Um Venusaur. Oh, there's really not like a Yeah, that does kind of a lot. I think it's worth it just to click Psychic because it shouldn't kill us with the you know because we're assault vest it'll do a lot but it won't kill us he'll get back up to like 90% health but if he's that weakened then we should be okay and I don't have another way to deal with this and Slowking it's useful for the x Plowed, but I can also a Robotis can kind of deal he goes for knockoff. Okay, that's more of a problem, but we do kill the we don't kill the Venusaur. Is he also Salt Fest? Yeah, that's also a Salt Vest. Or, or maybe it's just fully especially defensive. But I think now we go for Izion. <coughs> and again, this hidden power ice should should kill. Yeah, there we go. Huh, very interesting. I'm learning things about RU, guys. I'm learning lots of things. Uh, for example, I don't have a flying switch in on this team. If he's that, that weird uh, set with, uh, what do you call it? Whatever the one that transfers the, the burn to you, that'd be pretty crappy. You know, one thing I don't have on this team is any speed. That's for sure. I don't really want Rhyperior Weekend, but, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. Uh, so now that he doesn't have Venusaur, he doesn't have a Scald Switch in. Does get the flinch, so that's nice. Um, is it better to click Ice Beam? It's a little better to click Ice Beam. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, it's that slow? I didn't think it was... For some reason, I thought it was faster. Yeah, so I definitely think that that's Scarf Tyrantrum then. Um, which means, yeah, we basically lose to that if we lose Rhyperior. So we need to let something go here. And I think Braviary is probably the answer. Oh, we take that really well, actually. Do we just click Brave Bird? Yeah, because he doesn't really have a reason to save this thing. Okay, he does save it. Because I, I was thinking, you know, it would be really obvious to switch into one of those other two mons, but... <coughs> you know, Sigalyph... Oh no, it's got Magic Guard. Of course you can save it. So I don't... Yeah, I guess Flygon... I don't have a better answer. You just go to go for rocks, that's a good play. What if I just earth power? Flygon will be a good offensive response to Steelix and Tyrantrum, but 
you know, obviously doesn't do... Oh my goodness, I did not expect that to Oko. Holy crap. Alright, so here's the Scarf Tyrantrum with Outrage. He goes for Head Smash, okay. Let's calc that damage real quick. Yep, that's us. Tyrantrum. Choice Scarf. Yep, that is Scarf, alright. <coughs> um, this is kind of good for Girder. I'm just gonna let Braviary go down. Yep, that's fine. I'm really surprised. Wow, that does that, it does that much still? That's crazy. I mean, we're not taking two of those. Yeah, Earth Power is fine. Even if he goes... Yeah, if he goes that, then we just Draco. Like, what's the problem? We're max speed. Um, we gotta let something else go down here. What do we wanna let go down? What does what does it do to Rhyperior? Not a lot. So we can live one outrage or one superpower, it looks like. You know, barely. Hmm. It's just a question of do I want to defog or U-turn? Or just double? You know, swap out. Swapping out would be good because, you know, with Life Orb, I don't want to take another hit. Uh, you know, another bit of recoil with U-turn. No, I don't want to sack this. Let's go to Slow King. Let's see how we handle this Hyper Voice. Or as Boom Burst. We don't. That's the answer. So let's come in here. Let's do a little calc again. Rizion, Calm Mind. Uh, no, we don't take it. So we just have to hope we hit. Ooh, that does damage. I think I'm happy to just Giga Drain. Yeah, Girder can potentially be scary. Yeah, but we should kill here. We do. Great. So, hmm... I don't want to let this go down. I want to save it for a hit on x -Bloud. Because how much do we do? Yeah, that's not quite enough. I don't know. I think Aromatisse is LVP here. And if he goes for Outrage, then great. Oh, okay, cool. <coughs> so I think I'd rather just go for damage on the incoming x -Bloud. Because then we don't have to risk the Focus Blast. Yep, that's fine. Yeah, then yeah, Giga Drain kills. Uh, but the only problem here is now he can go for uh, Scarf Outrage. Which probably kills everything. Do I need to go for Focus Blast? This is where a little bit of priority would be nice. Krigger Jane basically kills, but we're not going to live a Dragon Claw. Definitely not an Outrage. Yeah, so that's a good game. So second Aromatisse was a small mistake, but I don't think there's anything we could have done. Actually, we win if he gets confused. Which he does. 
<laughs> that sucks for him. <laughs> wow. He should have just went for Dragon Claw. That would have won him the game, I think. Because... No, no, he had to go for Outrage. Rhyperior right would have lived. Oh, <coughs> uh, yeah, that's fine. I don't care if it doesn't have Toxic. I think we're only going to do one more game. Because it's already uh, 25 minutes in. Uh, now, this is a neat team. Uh, Fletch Endure is a threat. Uh, because, you know, Rhyperior can come in, but if he's packing Will-O-Wisp, then that really sucks. Um, that's really the only answer that I have. Uh, Braviary can potentially do work. Uh, Houndoom does outspeed. There's no reason not to read Flygon, leave Flygon and just U-turn. He goes to Scavalier. Um... This thing is a monster. I guess we go Rhyperior and set up rocks. Just don't Iron Head. Wow, that did so much damage. Is that banded? Yeah, that's banded like max roll. Uh, would I rather get up? Hazards. No, let's try Slowking. This is still probably going to do like 30-40%. Just like 40%. But we do have Fire Blast. Um, I'd rather Scald, I think, just in case the Houndoom does switch in. Which it doesn't. Now, we calc this earlier. We can live a Giga Drain, but we're not going to kill him back. So what would I rather do? Don't have a Venusaur answer. You can go Braviary. It seems fine, as long as he's not knock off Assault Vest. So he can go Steelix here, which means we go. What do we want to go for? Probably Verizion. Wow, he's a brave man. Good play, I guess. Let me just get off some damage. I think Earth Power is fine. That takes that pretty well. But with that special defense drop, that's actually really nice, because I think we can kill with the Draco, which means if we get an opportunity to get in the Rhyperior, uh, then we get up rocks for the game, which is going to be excellent for Fletchender. It's going to kill that Venusaur upon re-entry. Does this thing have Sucker Punch? I guess it does. What is this good for? Hmm. I think we can go Aromatisse and feel okay, right? Does have Sucker Punch? Great. I am just gonna Moon Blast because it should kill Venusaur if it came in. Now this thing is obviously a monster. He can go for his own rocks, certainly. Let's go Slow King. Okay, so I just want to click Scald now. Even if he goes for Earthquake, oh, that was the wrong move. Yeah, I don't care if I'm toxic. Nothing on his team wants to take a Scald. Yeah, that did damage. No, no, no lie. <coughs> but now we're getting close to a position where Braviary can do work. What would be really interesting is if he has, um... Hmm. No, we click Scald here. Yeah, that's fine. Hmm, do we want to go Flygon? Do we go to Rhyperior? Rhyperior should still kill with Rock Blast, right? And nothing on the team otherwise really wants to take it. I 
should have been brave and clicked Stealth Rock. Actually, that's what I'm going to do here. It would have been really nice if we still had Slow King. I think we just got to get off one hit with Braviary and hope that it's enough. Yeah, I don't know. That's Earth Power. Yeah, there's no way that this is going to kill. I don't know, it's Life Orb. <sighs> Alright, we needed that badly. Alright, we can't miss this Draco. Oh, that kills. Wow. I forget, Fletchender is actually really strong. Because now, now he can just roost. Or not. But he'll just roost here. Yeah, so now we lose. <laughs> I guess we'll keep trying, but he's gonna he's gonna win this every time. So yep, there there's a come there it goes there. Yeah, that did damage. So good game. I really am surprised. I mean, Fletchinger's, to be fair, its attack stat's really not that much lower than Talonflames. Uh, it's only like five or six base, like a, um, like his base attack stat's only like five or six points lower than Talonflames. Um, and I didn't have any investment on that Flygon, but still, I'm just, I'm surprised. I guess it's, you know, maybe it's max, it's probably max attack out of mid. I guess that's what they run in this tier. I don't really know. But uh, anyway, that was a lot of fun. Um, I, I was kind of hoping not to run into the Steelix teams. But we did get to show off Braviary in that one game against the uh, the Hoopa and Roselia team, so that was a lot of fun. So I do want to thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to check back for more Pokemon content. And until next time, I will see you all later.